Hey guys, John Henson here for Curry Enterprises, and we're going to do a little different Curry Explain today. We're actually in the shop, and we've got a 9-inch that's going together. This particular one is for a C10. But what I want to show you today is how the axles actually get installed, how the bearing goes in, and what we go through when we're putting this together here at the factory. We're here with Anthony today, and he's going to do some of the handwork. Why don't we go ahead and show him? Let's get started. So what he's going to do is he's going to grease the end before the axle goes in. It's just standard bearing axle grease, but it just helps with assembly, right? So we're going to pre-grease pre it and then get ready to go. So what we're doing on this axle shaft, go ahead and show them, Anthony. But um, this is getting a, a bare break, so it's got their bracket here for that. Then it's got our Set 20 Timken bearing, which is a tapered roller. And as you guys know, we've talked about this before, the seal is on the front side. Mm -hmm. And he's going to go ahead and slide that in. We've got our T-bolts here. So the T-bolts slide in from the back of the housing. He's going to line it up so that the splines are going to slide right to, into this third member here. And he's just going to give it a firm push. So you guys can tell that went in super easy. And the reason for that is because this is all put together with an alignment bar when it's welded. So this is perfect for it sliding in, right? So then it sticks out just a little bit, as you can tell here, and then the bracket's going to go on, and he's going to use our new retainer plate. And that should be all that it takes to actually get the axle to pretty much seat down as far as it's going to go, guys. Just a couple of little bit of taps, and then we've got our new retainer plate he's going to show you here. It's actually a U-shape like this, okay? So it's going to slip over now, and this is our new retainer plate. We'll go ahead and put the part number in the video for you guys. He's going to line it up with the T-bolts. Now the access hole lines up with the T-bolt he's going to be working on, which allows him to put in the nut through the axle shaft. And he's doing it the right way. Good job, Anthony. He's going in a cross pattern, guys. So you want to go a cross pattern, not all the way around sequentially. That way you get an even load when you're actually tightening it down too. So when everything is stacked correctly, what it's going to do is it's going to suck this axle just a little bit further in, but it's going to put preload on that seal. Remember, the seal is on the front side, right? As that goes down and tightens up, that seal bubbles up in here and provides the seal here so that no grease or gear oil can push past it. So he's going to go ahead and torque these down now. So that's sucked in the axle shaft pretty much all the way that it needs to go. The last step really is going to be torquing these things down. We're going to torque down each nut to 35 foot-pounds, again in that same cross pattern. Perfect. Hey man, good job. Thank you. Yeah. So that should cover axle insulation, what our new retainer plate looks like, and how this goes together the correct way. It's going to differ by brake for the most part, but as long as you have everything stacked together, it's going to get the correct amount of preload on the bearing, and it's going to get the correct amount of preload on the seal so nothing leaks past this. If you guys have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us, send us a DM, or leave a comment below. If you like this video, subscribe here.
For more Curry tech videos, click right here. And for other Curry content, click right here. Thanks for watching, guys.